Well, hello once again to our Buffalo prenatal home visiting program, our PMS class for parent memory scrapbooking. I'm going to apologize. I feel a little bit under the weather. Um, the change of weather makes the change of my voice too. So, but we're going to be here um, doing our class number five for the month of October. And today we're going to do our two page layout measuring eight and a half by 11. And not only going to be with, we're going to be doing one, one card. I decided to do a bonus card. So get comfortable because it might be a little bit longer from the previous classes. Now, uh, first I'm going to show you, as you can see here, the two page layout is titled blessings and it has space for two pictures in one side you can also make up your mind and if you want to flip you can always um, decide if you want to flip or change the size or um, you can decide how many pictures you want to put on the layout so in this case i'm showing this uh, five by seven size a larger one or a smaller one that's six by four and um here it has a little car and it has some pumpkins. I'm going to show you how to, um, if you have also on your stack some um, ink. The one that I use is Distracts Oxide in the color vintage photo. It helps, like I said, in every class to give some texture to your work. And this is the car for today. You are a hood size A2, and then the bonus card with a Thanksgiving A2 card. So let's begin with the first uh, page layout. And on your package that I've mailed to 10 of our participants, they're receiving already the material, the kit all together. And here are the pumpkins that you're going to find you're going to have two strips that is going to be the edges the top edges this is the card and this is where your photo mats that you see in the pictures and then the larger photo mat and this is your base eight and a half by eleven inside the bag you're going to have all the little extra materials and you're going to see the grass, all the leaves. This, I believe, is part of, oh, this is part of the card. That's the light. These are the wheels. The title blessing, I already cut it for you and glue it on the shadow to make it easier on you. This is more leaves. Now, these are handles that normally we find in the um, shopping bags so i've decided to recycle them and you're going to be finding two of these handles they are from a different bags like the target bags or i believe walmart they're kind of different that some of them that are, are tightened very very hard so when it's time to open it you have to maybe struggle a little bit some of them are easy like this one you have to undo it you probably have to cut like the one of the ends because uh, it's all glued out. But you undo, you take your time to undo the the tight, and you op you're going to be opening it up eventually, dude. So this is one type of the boxes. See, this one is kind of thin. I'm not. Sure, I don't remember which bag I got this from. This one seems to be a little bit more thicker. So once you undo it, it's going to come up like this. This is kind of messy here. So I want to be able to, that's another thing I want to apologize. I apologize for my nails. I didn't let them um, dry and, I, and they're a hot mess too. So besides my voice, my nail polish is a hot mess. So once you undo the handles from the back they're going to be open like that and then i'm going to ask you to fold it in half and you get your pair of scissors and again you like to, like you're doing grass 
you're carefully going to be cutting all the way through. If you don't have a multi-blade knife, this is um, this is the way you have to do it. Let me see if I can get my multi. Mm, I don't know where my, oh, there it is. This stuff gets stuck. Um, multi knife also makes this cut a little bit faster and easier and the cuts are a little bit tighter so as you can see they make it a little bit tighter and this is a little bit wider so once you have that done they're going to be looking like this and this is the bottom of your page layout that we're going to be doing so so that's the tip or the trick to do that. That's the part that is the mo most complicated kind of thing. Everything else is easy. So let's begin with page one. <clears throat> and we're going to start with the pumpkin. Again, I'm just gonna show you, this is uh, an optional step. So I get some ink and I start to ink around the pumpkin. You don't have to be perfect, it's messy. Messier the better, at least for me. If you know how to draw and you wanna give more texture and draw some lines, again, you're welcome to do that. So you can put as little or as much as you wish. So. Might as well do the second one. This oxy dry um, ink reacts to water, so if you this is more and more uh, advanced techniques that um, I will be doing in a different class. So this is gonna this is our fifth class, so it's the second last our last class for this simple scrapbooking classes will end in November. So in the advanced class, I'll be showing a little bit of more techniques and more advanced techniques. Um, some of the ones that you already learned uh, during this six month series. And then in that one, I can show you also how the ink reacts to water, this specific distress oxide. <clears throat> I'm sorry, see my voice. <clears throat> so we have the pumpkin and then we have the the grass or the what would you call this it's a dry grass the ground i'm using a liquid or wet adhesive um the the type of adhesive that i gave you on the other classes the wet class the other classes for the wet glue was glitter art glue and that one dried fast and clear this one is barely art glue and it takes a little bit longer to dry it does not dry as fast as the glitter art glue but it's better it gives you more time to move your work around if you're not sure where to put it so i'm changing um for this for this specific class to the what is it called again Barely our glue. Let me show it to you. This is the glue. I'm not sure if you can see it this way. There we go. That's the name of the glue that I'm using now. <clears throat> and just It'll take a, it just takes a little bit longer to settle compared to the art glitter glue that dries faster, but it still holds very good, very good. So let's cut the excess. And then I have my pumpkins. You can put it as low and or as high as you wish. We put some more glue here to hold it down. Now I'm going to put 
the um, mat again you have the choice to ink the edges like is there really, this one this ink takes a little bit longer to dry like I said it reacts to water fast and it gives some kind of dimension to which I really really like so I'm using my wet glue and um oh wait a second I forgot about the top the top I like to use the technique as you can see I've used it in other classes before so on your pictures you're gonna you're gonna see that it has the rip effect so when you rip the paper to give the rip effect you're gonna tear it towards you you start tearing a little bit towards yourself And you can leave, leave it as is so you can see the white the white part of the paper the inside of it the fiber or you can also ink it it's a choice if you have ink and you like this technique I like to ink most of my work okay I'm gonna be a little bit to be a little bit faster with the dry adhesive and then we're gonna put it onto the top it's already cut to the side so you don't have to worry about it see it dries clear so most of it, it, it see how quick it dries most of it it's already dry and it dries clear so let me put some more a little bit more and then I settle it down. As high, as closer to the edge as you wish. And then you're also gonna be having your leaves. This one you have on your packages, you're going to have three leaves and you decide which color and which order do you prefer to have them. So let me put a little bit of ink on this just to, again, give some texture so you don't look as plain. You see the difference? And I'm going to leave that as is. So there goes my first leaf. Again, you decide which order. This one is a double sided. So again, you pick which side you like and how straight or crooked you want your leaves. And the first page layout is complete. As simple as that. Let's work on the second page layout. <coughs> Oops. So now I'm going to bring all the detail. I'm so sorry for this mess. I'm not feeling well, but we got to do this. We got to do this and we, and we are going to get it done. Okay. So let me begin with the top because I don't want to forget again. And again, you're going to do the rip effect. You're going to tail towards yourself. And you're going to see the white fibers from the paper. And um, this is still has some, it still holds a lot of ink. So this ink lasts for a long, long, very long time. It's really good. Okay. So... Hopefully it won't, I won't run out of glue. Again, this goes to the top. Am I in the frame? I don't want to put my head in the middle either. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. Is my voice 
my nail polish and my head is in the way i am so sorry okay now the grass again i'm gonna try the the drying first and let's place the dry grass and i'm going to enforce it with a little bit of the um, wet glue just to make sure that it stays and i'm going to put down the pumpkins let me make sure yeah they go here yep and then i'm going to put the title blessing i'm not even looking if i'm in the frame okay you can make a comment what i can do to improve i'm so sorry <laughs> bear with me just bear with me so again um it can be left white or you can ink it i'm going to leave this one blank and i'm just going to put a little bit of the dry glue in case i decide to change the size of the pictures i might have my want to have only one bigger one or multiple ones smaller i'm not sure so i'm just gonna that's why i'm not overdoing it with the glue and this one is all messed up with the ink with my inky hands sorry for the inky hands <laughs> it's a rough day today okay now um on uh with the car you have the option to pop this out the cutting mm, some of them it didn't really go through and if and if your card does can you can pop out the little circles easily you can always use a pair of scissors or um what is this called cutter one of these exacto knife thank you production exacto knife to cut it out uh with the with the window, I, um, I decided to leave it and you can also have the option to pop it out and put behind it a different color or you can color it. In my case, I decided to color it so you can get a black or um, gray marker. In my case, let's just do this quick. Look at my nails. I feel uh, uncomfortable. <laughs> okay. So you can color in the window or you can pop it out and put a piece of gray or silver piece of paper square behind it or white or pop it up and you can also pop it out and i'm gonna you can pop it out and put a picture and put a picture behind it so it's up to you now those circles that you have inside of your kits there's two blacks and one yellow that is now missing in this mess that i have here oh my there we go this is part of a scrapbooker um, life. Always misplacing. Things disappear easily. So I put some glue, I mean the frame. I put some glue around the circles and I'm gonna put place the black behind it in the bottom for the wheels and then the yellow one. Now you see the wheels on your truck and you can pop this with some foam and it help you um, 
have give a little bit of dimension if you have some um, double side foam or you can just glue it directly to your page oh that came with my finger sorry oh i'm out of the frame oh my goodness i'm not having a good day today okay i put some glue already on top of the from the behind top of the car the trunk so you can place the leaves however you wish and then place your truck down again remember you can have um, you can put your pictures and then place your truck or have dimension foam so the the truck won't be touching the photo frame this is your truck you place your pictures and page one and page two are done title blessings now let's work on the card number one which is the you are a hoot and the materials for that are your car base is double sided double color so you pick which size you prefer these are the extra you're gonna find in your package all of your goodies why is this outside outside of the package I don't know okay I have a note for myself okay like I said you're gonna have your envelope as part of your kit from the card I'll put it out of, out of my way this is the base card this is the front card this is the moon the way I did the moon I punch out a circle and with the same punch I off center it and punch it again and that gave me that look to um, to pretend to be a moon it has let me have my reference here it has the leaf this one um, when I cut it out for you is also embossed so here in the camera I don't think if you're able to it was my ink inky hand to notice um, the veins of the leaf and then this is the title for the card you are a hood I die cut a tree for you and it's gonna come here and then the bottom still sticky remember the other technique that I showed you that you can do um, by hand and you can cut as the heel with your hands or you can also use the same rip effect and you can tear the paper towards you that it gives that dimension look and also a heel back up and down up and down that's the bottom that's the heel and this is the foam some people call it fat fun fun foam <laughs> fun fun foam um, that you can find in the craft store some of them are plain some of them have one sided with glue on it already this one is is plain so the reason why i added this is just to give some dimension to the owl and then i'm going to explain to you what i did to make it look like that so i'm going to put this in the back to give some dimension to the owl now and then see when i put it in on the tree and here you cannot notice but it'll give it it in real life when you when you put together your card it's going to be obvious how the owl is a little bit off the page 
what I wanted to um, show you or explain to you is how I gave that color, that shimmery color to the um, owl. I used one of my stamp sets that, okay, here it is. I used one of this stamp. I used this one over here. And even the title, You Are a Hood. And then after I stamped it, I die cut it with the die cut right here. With the ink, this ink gives me time to uh, emboss. It serves also as an embossing ink. So when I ink the image, I can um, go ahead and pull over this powder. This is the embossing powder and I don't know if you can see it it's an embossing powder once I put it on top of the images and then I take out the excess I use a heat tool like this you're gonna turn it on and wait for it to become hot hot and so you don't burn your fingers you can either use a clothes cloth pin or you can hold it with one of this oh my goodness one of these tools i'm having a hard day today mm -hmm. tweezers thank you production <laughs> and so you can um, turn your heat tool wait for a few seconds for it to become hot it's hotter than a uh, blow to blow to blow your <laughs> Try to blow your hair. It's not for that. <laughs> but it's hotter than that. And now um, when I heat the paper back and forth, it'll, the, the powder, it'll change and it'll become like this. It's, it's a nice technique that I'll be showing in the advanced class. So I just wanted to share that with you. Okay, so let's put this together. Let me take these pieces out. Again, this is the same paper, this is double sided. So if you wanna use this side and then the, the ground using the lines or use the lines and use the ground with the dot side, dot is side printed. I'm gonna put the tree, come on. <clears throat> I'm a little bit thirsty. I'm gonna get some water. I'm gonna put the owl down. I have my moon, the leaf with the title. Again, if I choose to ink it, I can also, if you like to. You can also do that. And now we are ready to put the car front on the car base. And car number one is done. Car number one is done. Now let's work on the bonus. And in the bonus card, I decided to give you an extra card so you can write it and give it to someone special in this upcoming holidays for Thanksgiving. It's always good to spend time with the family. So on this one, you see, Get a note for myself. What am I writing? Okay. You have your um, envelope. And in here, there is two different kinds of backgrounds. Um, I don't think, I, I don't remember. I probably don't have enough. Either I didn't have enough of 
base cards or I had too many and I decided to give you two. So I'm not sure if you're going to be receiving one of each or one of this. I'm not sure. I like to use the, um, the dotted sign. So for this one, we have some extra pumpkins, little pumpkins that I have in this little bag. The title Happy Thanksgiving obviously is not glued in on the shadow. You're going to have to do that one. And again, this is going to be the grass that you can use with your scissors. Do it by hand. You can cut it and make it make a heel, make it look like a heel. This is one of the easy tips to do. Or you can do the rip effect like I like we did in the other page layout where you can tear it out and put it. Once you glue it, you can cut the excess. So before I put this the um, this bush down. This one is plain, and I believe in yours. I already gave some texture. So what I did, I used one of my stamps. I used one of my stamp with the same acid distress acid um, ink distresser. I'm gonna protect my my work here so I inked it it's very light and then I just randomly stamped on the bush again just to give some texture so I believe yours have it if not this is another technique that you can use some you can do um, with different rep, rep help me. repetidamente a lot of times you can with a pen or marker repeat <laughs> many times you can start doing that okay let's put this together <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is hard. Okay, um, this is the bottom. Get the small scissors. Cut the excess. I don't know if I keep coming off the frame. I am so sorry. Okay, where's my sample? There we go. So, I put the bottom. The bush, you can put it behind it or in front of it. But if you put in front of it, then you'll be covering the um, the shape of the hill. So make sure you put you don't put glue on top of it until you insert the bush. I'm doing things backwards today. Make you think. Okay. Now with this, you got, I believe it was, oh, there's four pumpkins, different size. I don't like things in my way. <laughs> I'm sorry. So you have four different sizes of pumpkins. You can put them randomly straight all together in one corner if you wish. Or spread it out. I'm just going to spread them out. Okay, now the word um, Happy Thanksgiving. If you have, if you still have some of the wet glue that I sent you months ago. You can put a little bit of glue with the fine tip, or you can also, on top of some scrap paper, you can put your, oh, I'm off, I'm off the frame, frame. You can put your, the wording facing down and put the glue, run the dry adhesive around, um, through it. But this is easier to put the, the wet glue 
Either you can use your hands or if you have issues with your nails. Where's my tweezer? These are my reverse tweezers. I put some glue, little dots of glue here and there. And then put it in the shadow. Before you press it, make sure that it's center. Again, you see the how is it go how it goes out. It, don't worry about it. That drags clear. It drags clear with no problem. So more glue here, and you put your title, Happy Thanksgiving. Again, in the middle, to the side, up and down, wherever makes you happy. On top of it, behind it, I'm gonna decide. I'm gonna change it to the side. And there goes your first Thanksgiving. Nah, not your first. Your bonus. Your bonus card. So you are a hood. Happy Thanksgiving. And your blessings for this way. For the two page layout. Again, thank you for bearing with me. I apologize for all the boo-boos that I made today. Um, hopefully you have a your have a better success with your um, work. Remember, you can always share your projects. If you have any questions, you can get a hold of us and you can email me at mc at bbpn.org at Buffalo Prenatal Home Visiting Program. And if you have any questions, you can also contact your worker. Anybody else who might be interested in receiving in a future class uh, some kits, please, you can contact our office and through your worker, they can give me your message. You can call our office at 716-884-6711 and my extension is 202 or you can reach to your worker. Again, thank you for sticking up with me through this difficult time and hope you have fun see you at the next and last scrapbooking class for the month of november have a good day